Well, I I think that the church, and I'm speaking as a, a you know as a an Episcopal priest, you know, former rector of a church. As I think about it, I don't think the church has done a very good job of helping people understand who they are, um, and we've been, you know, we, we've theologized or made abstract ideas, or we've said to people, just do this. Well, gosh, if you know, what a setup for failure, right? Without saying to them, you know, here are some tools for understanding who you are and what change looks like, you know, and how do you cooperate with the process of change? And I can just tell you, uh, I didn't know the Enneagram very well when I was uh, working in, in the pastorate. I would change almost everything. I mean, uh, as a leader of a staff, to know and appreciate difference and to call forth people's giftedness based on who they are, enormously helpful. Counseling, appreciating people's difference within a community, uh, what they're like under stress, what they're like when they're doing well. I mean, I just can't begin to tell you how, uh, you know, just powerful it is to have that information at your, at your disposal. Well, I've taught in lots of churches, and um, as you've heard me say over and over, the one guarantee that I make when I teach the Enneagram to a group of people is that you'll probably know your number at the end of the day. You will for sure be more compassionate. Yeah. I have a friend who teaches uh, significantly visually impaired children, and she had a doctor who came to help her in the independent school district where I'm from by making glasses for all of the parents to put on that showed them exactly how their children can see, exactly what they do and what they don't see. And my dream for my vocation in teaching the Enneagram would be to have nine pairs of glasses so right. that everybody could right. try on a pair of glasses. So we do a lot of work together. And you and I look at the same thing and see a different thing almost all the time. <laughs> almost all the time. Right. And I, I think where we're lost in trying to build community in churches and in trying to build our relationship with God is we're operating under this assumption that we're basically all the same and that we're basically all seeing the same things. And we're not and we're not. 